I was born with amyloidosis. It attacks an organ. Um, I mean, there's a better phrase for it, I guess, than that. And it destroys that organ, and the organ it attacked in my body was my heart. The wait for the heart was just over three months. On October 26, 2013, I was in my room, and uh, I had been there for three months, as I say, about three months. And Dr. Feller called, and she said, Mr. Clues, we found you a heart. I was told the heart has, usually comes from with a five to 600 mile radius, um, but we were, it was going on too long and, and my heart was deteriorating too badly. So they got a call from Florida, a young man, I don't know who he was, and I'll always be grateful to that family. The phlebotomist. Every morning, he would come in and draw my blood. I, and I, I, I am so sorry, I don't remember his name. But he would draw blood, and we would talk, and he was just the nicest guy. And he started, he, every day, every morning, he walked past a fruit and vegetable stand. And he started picking up fruit and bringing it in to me. I, I, um, during that, during all that time, um, uh, I, I was blessed with people just um, beyond the staff taking care of me. You know? I don't know how it would have gone at any other hospital. I know that being at the University of Maryland made it, turned it from being what could have been the worst experience of my life to um, the best experience of my life in terms of my health. I mean, I was in the hospital for six months. I don't have bad memories. And I don't have bad memories of that because of the quality of care I got, the kind of people I was surrounded with, the nursing staff who just doted on me. Uh, it was like I was one of their sons, Dr. Feller, who just made sure every aspect of it was right. Was right. And, um, you know, I, I, I love the hospital. It was just a perfect place to be. I started to write the book because people kept saying to me, you're a writer, aren't you going to write a book about that experience? And um, so finally I was convinced I should. I am a writer and I should write a book about an unusual experience in my own life. There's nothing funny about a heart transplant. It was, um, it was not, it was not a pleasant experience in the sense that it was painful. I was in the hospital for a long time. The transplant itself caused pain. Um, the recovery was painful. I'm a humorist and I write comedy, so the only way I could write this book was to write it funny. I guess the biggest lesson I've learned from having the heart transplant uh, is I'm stronger than I thought I was. And that um, I am surrounded by the best family in the world.